Have you ever wondered what goes on behind closed doors at an electric vehicle startup when things aren't going according to plan? Well, I've got some sad news to share about Fisker, the innovative yet financially challenged EV maker. Once employing over a thousand people, uh, Fisker now finds itself in a precarious position. Uh, recent reports suggest that the company has cut hundreds of jobs and a desperate attempt to keep its head above water. But why is Fisker facing such hardships? Let me take you on a little journey. Imagine working for a company where your employer asks you to work from home unexpectedly. You might think it's great news, right? Well, for many Fisker employees, it turns out to be anything but. In a bold move, the company carry out mass layoffs while workers were still working remotely. Talk about a shocking surprise. Uh, but who's pulling the strings here? According to sources close to the matter, a significant investor demanding repayment is putting immense pressure on Fisker. And while Henrik Fisker, the founder and CEO, refused to disclose the identity of this investor, rumors point towards Heights Capital Management, an affiliate of Susquehanna International Group. Uh, with only around 150 employees left, uh, Fisker struggles to fund its research and development efforts and create new models. So the company seems to be focusing on survival mode, waiting for better days to come. Uh, before April 19th, Fisker boasted a workforce of 1,135 people. However, these numbers have drastically decreased due to multiple rounds of layoffs. First came the reduction of approximately 15% followed by two more waves of dismissals. Uh, despite the turmoil, uh, Fisker remains committed to delivering its Ocean EV uh, to eager buyers. Uh, prices for the vehicle have seen considerable drops lately. Uh, moreover, dismissed employees get, might get a chance to return once the company regains stability. That's a silver lining, isn't it? Just when you thought things couldn't get any more dramatic, remember this. Fisker's remaining workforce received their termination notices via email after losing access to essential Microsoft services like Teams and Outlook. Talk about cutting off communication channels. With that said, thanks for tuning in, and until next time, drive safely. Oh, and don't forget to charge up those EVs. Here's a quick joke. Why did the batteries feel lonely? Because it kept getting discharged.